anyone who has ever taught middle school will tell you that only the troublemakers are remembered. The forgettable students with average grades are the ones who don't attract attention to themselves, and Acura's newly freshened ILX is a quiet pupil. About 10 school years ago, the original TSX drew bad boy attention rivaling the Honda Civic C. Looks, handling, packaging, it had it all. Since 2013, the ILX has tried to fill that role in Acura's catalog, but it doesn't make the same waves. Frankly, it's dull. For 2016, Acura has simplified the ILX lineup in one sense and complicated it in another. Buyers may no longer select 2.0-liter automatic or 2.4-liter manual versions. Now the only power drain is an updated 2.4-liter inline 4, nearly identical to the Civic C's, making 201 horsepower and 180 pound-feet of torque coupled to an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic driving the front wheels. This isn't your average dual-clutch automatic. The weakness of most such applications is the initial throttle tip-in response from a dead stop. Clutches can be jerky and or slow engaging. The ILX is unusual in that has a torque converter, yielding yacht rock smoothness off the line with quick, solid upshifts. From behind the leather-trimmed wheel, you'd never know this automatic has three times the coupling devices of a manual transmission. In other words, the new gearbox is forgettable, though in a good way. The altered tranny adds time to the track test numbers compared with the old manual 2.4. With a 6.6 second 60 mile per hour time and a 15.2 second quarter, the 16 model is 0.2 second off the mark of the last 2.4 liter ILX we tested. Adding the extra hardware also helped inflate the curve weight by 164 pounds over the old 2.4. But the 3,134-pound sedan, here in A-spec form, doesn't feel any heavier. Steering is appropriately light for an entry-level luxury four-door. The old TSX wasn't a BMW, but it was hardcore Honda, with a balanced chassis and perfectly satisfying controls that spark happy memories even years later. As with so many Acuras of late, there's no interaction with the Jejun ILX that we think we'll remember in a decade. On the road, it handles competently enough, the understeer gradually building well before the tires lose grip. There seems to be more real-world adhesion than the 0.83 gram skid pad score suggests, and the ILX glides through corners with surprising confidence and body control, at least some credit belonging to the Aspect's slightly wider tires. But there's no passion in this car, and the rest of the Aspect's components are even less memorable. Fog lights and suede and leather seats are the highlights of an otherwise cosmetic $1,990 upgrade, more may spec than a spec. At $32,810, the ILX A spec shadows the Audi A3, BMW 2 Series, and Mercedes Benz CLA 250, though without their oomph. And the cabin isn't quite as quiet as the Europeans. While the Acura's front seats feel roomy, the back row is a squeeze for adults. Plus, of the cars mentioned above, only the ILX doesn't offer four-wheel drive, which will certainly keep it off many a northern buyer's radar. What we can't forget is how fun the TSX was and how little of it has trickled into the ILX. Entry-level luxury is more university than junior high. All C's may get degrees, but nobody brags about them.